Hello, this is Dr. Linda Davis, and today I want to work in GIMP, and I want to work on creating a transparency using GIMP. So let me launch GIMP. And I um, need to go out to the internet probably and find an, just an image that will work for what we're going to do today. As far as making an image transparent, that means that you want to take things that are in the background of the image and have it take on the background of whatever you place the image on. For instance, you may have a PowerPoint background that's black and you want to place this image on it. Um, let's go out to the internet and just do a search in Google Images. And from Google, just click on the images link. And for instance, we'll search on um, cameras. Whole host of, of cameras here. Let's take the um, Nikon, for instance. And we'll bring that up. And I'll capture the full size image link that's here. And from this point, I'll just capture it by right click on the image, save picture as, and uh, save it in your folder. And rename it if necessary. As a JPEG initially. Of course, we'll change all that. Now I'm going to um, exit out of that one and go back to GIMP. And with GIMP active, I'll say File Open and go back and, and open that particular one up. Uh, Nikon? Okay. And it had to convert it, but normally you wouldn't have to do that. Okay, so here we have the image and we want to make the background transparent. The background in this particular image is white and it's very distinct where the background is. So what we want to do in GIMP is select layer and transparency and you want to add alpha channel. So from your choices within transparency you want to add alpha channel. Click on that and then on the toolbox, your toolbox should be on your left, you have the fuzzy select tool, which is looks kind of like a magic wand. When you drive over it, it does say fuzzy select tool. So click on that one. And we're going to click on the background. Now initially it won't make it transparent, it just selects it. So we'll just click on the background. Notice the marching ants kind of change a bit there. And now it's imperative that you hit the delete button on your keyboard because that's going to make the difference. So if I hit delete, that makes the background transparent. And it should change to like your grayscale checkerboard. And um, it's important to save it as a, a GIF file or a PN, .png file either way. So I will just do file save as because those two file formats support transparencies and JPEG does not. So the JPEG ending will not work for this application. So uh, I'm just going to keep it simple simple and just make it a, a gif or a gif whichever way you choose to pronounce it and uh, hit save and it will ask you um, you know you want to convert it yes we want to export it yes we do so just hit export and again just hit save and then if you look up here now it's called Nikon.gif and select, we can say none to turn off the marching ants. Now to see it, you know, on it, take on the background of something else, um, we can just start up a PowerPoint, for instance. And uh, I'll make the background of this PowerPoint something, um, pick a color. Um, and just maybe uh, something kind of on the light side, I guess. Pick one of these blues. 
Well, it's a little intense. Let's pick a different one. That's still a bit intense. Uh, let's see. I could probably live with that one for this uh, demonstration. And let me just close this out and also let me get rid of these. Um, let me get rid of these uh, boxes. Let me go to the home area and select layout, blank, get all that out of there. Now let's just insert that image we just finished working with. Insert picture. Let's try it out. And I'll go to my folder and look for the Nikon one that I just finished with that I called GIF. That's the original one over here and then that's the one we finished with. So we'll insert that one. And you can see uh, pretty nicely it's uh, there's a few pixels here and there that are still white but pretty much it did a good job. So that's the purpose of uh, creating a transparency in GIMP. Thank you for your time.